What's up, it's Grabs Racing. We're making some updates to Reggie over the winter. Uh, two things that I'm working on is uh, being able to move the weights from the back to the front. We got a problem with wheelies, so uh, if we can shift some weight, it may help us with the wheelies. Also, I'm going to put in some travel limiters. So I got about, when the, when the front end picks up, when I let go of the button, I got about three inches of travel right now where the wheel drops down from the fender, about three inches of uh, spring travel in the front. So we're going to make some Home Depot style travel limiters and see if we can't get that to help out as well. In combination with the weight and travel limiters, we should be able to get the wheelies under control. So let me show you what I've done so far. I got the weight bars in. You can check them out and I'll show you the progress on the travel limiters and we'll try and get these knocked out. So let's check it out. Uh, there's the weight bar. So you just... I went to Walmart and got a dumbbell, cut it in half, put the other on the other side, um, drilled through this piece of one and a half inch square to give me some extra support, and then welded that to the frame. And then you can just shift the weight how you want it. If you got a wheelie problem and you got the weight in the back, just go scoop some out of the back. And if you need traction, you got weight in front, you can just shift it to the back. So back here in the back, I got the same deal. Let me find the flashlight. So I got these weight pins back here, same deal. You can just shift your weight around. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring it to the front. So I went to Home Depot and got some stuff. I got this uh, maybe 330 seconds cable. Then I went to Smiley's and they sell these little tabs here for seatbelt brackets or whatever. So I did this uh, little clamp here, welded the tab in, and what I'm hoping to do is come right here and use this with a bunch of holes drilled in it so that we can move it up and down. You know, maybe that'll be the top. And then we can get some kind of travel through here. And I'm not sure if this is going to bolt straight to this. I got some more seatbelt tabs. There's one here. Maybe we can hang a seatbelt tab like this. And uh, bring this over here like this. With a quick... Uh, not a cotter pin, but maybe like a lynch pin or something, so that it's real easy to move the travel up and down. You know, we'll have some holes and maybe move it up and down like that. That'd be cool. I think. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna, next piece, I'm going to drill some holes in this. We'll tie this to this. I'm saving you guys from the monotony, monotony of watching me drill a crap load of holes over here on the mill which is insanely freaking boring but here's my game plan I've got this I just took a couple of strips of uh, whatever this is one inch uh, maybe by eight mild steel junk you can get at Home Depot and I got two holes here and I got a couple of uh, adjustment holes here and I think this will hook onto the cable that you saw just a second ago that has the tab in the car and then we'll have a pin, which is actually, I think, going to be uh, maybe something like this. I had some bolts selected out for this already, and I keep moving them because they're in the way, and I don't know where they got off to. But anyhow, that's not a, not a good example. Maybe this one. So this, we'll put this here, and uh, this bolt will fit better. I had measured it to, to get the right one like that and I think I'll cut the end off that and we can put a, a pin through here and then I'm thinking when we're at the track all we gotta do is pull this pin out slide this off pull that out move it down to the next hole put this back and put the pin in and uh, that'll get us our adjustment that we need I'm hoping Let's see what this looks like here uh, shit, I don't have the light handy. 
anyhow we'll get to that in just a second but basically once I get this other pieces these other pieces done I'm gonna weld these together and then this will bolt to the strut and then you get your uh, adjustment from here so hold up we'll be right back. So, I welded it up, you saw there, and uh, I think that's a plenty, plenty enough weld. So I got to looking at it after I made it. You know, we had originally talked about having the bolt shortened down and then this hanging off here like this, but once I mounted it up there, I realized there wasn't gonna be enough room in the back to get the bolt out and move it up and down. I went out last night and scooped this up. And uh, what I'm gonna do is use it here to make the adjustments real easy. But when I dropped it down to test it, this pulled out uh, of this. And I don't really have the swagging tool that they say you gotta have, which kinda hammered it down. And that obviously didn't work. So I'm probably just gonna replace this with a piece of chain. All right, we got something that works here. Got some chain. The cable's not gonna fly, and I'm pretty sure this tab is gonna have to go up here on something a little stronger than this, because it's gonna pull this out. It's gonna flex the whole thing. So anyhow, I'll move that later, but for now, this is the homemade Home Depot travel limiter in action. <laughs> 